Molly, you know, you're all that your father talks about. How come he's never talked about you? Well, because... Why haven't you mentioned me, Jeff? <laughs> uh, girls, girls, hot cocoa in the kitchen. <laughs> come, girls, fill up your mugs. Oh, right. <laughs> But I don't want to miss what happens when you know who gets here. <laughs> Molly, I didn't mean this to be a shock to you. I, no, I, actually, it was my idea. I, I just thought that it was time for you to meet Angela. Okay, I've met her. What about Mom? Now, Molly, you know your mom and I really weren't very happy together. But I was. You don't care about me. Oh, of course I do, honey. Just because I'm not living at home doesn't mean I don't love you as much as I always have. That's just talk. You're selfish, and I hate you! Molly, please! You see, you should have mentioned me. <laughs> Ever since I moved out of the house, I can't seem to do anything right where she's concerned. She can't help it, Dr. Parker. She just can't accept the idea of your divorce, yet. I hope she'd have gotten used to it by now. <laughs> it's gonna take a little time. Well, Miss Fixit, what are you gonna do when Molly's mother gets here? Will you just shut up, Blair? It's awful enough. This is one time it doesn't feel so good to be right. I'm gonna go talk to Molly. Fathers can't be trusted. My heart feels like it's busted. Boy, am I disgusted. I got a right to sing the blues. That's it. Sing it, Molly. Let it all out. What a crummy thing to do, bringing that sneaky frizz head up here. She's going to ruin Mom and Dad falling back in love. Oh, I see. You're still trying to get the folks back together again, huh? Yeah, it's gonna work out. Once he sees Mom again, he'll drop that floozy. Mm-hmm. Tell me, Molly, what was it like when you were all together? It was terrific. It was wonderful. Molly, you said yourself your Mom and Dad fought all the time. Okay, so it wasn't that terrific. But at least we were together until Dad ruined it. Come on, Molly. What was it really like? Well, Dad would come home late from the office because he's a workaholic. That's what Mom says. And then she would say, you've ruined dinner again. And then he would say, how can I ruin it? You cooked it. <laughs> and I bet I know what happened after dinner. They'd go into the bedroom and they'd argue. No, they figured out a way to argue in front of me. They'd smile. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my mother was a whiz at that. So what if you've torn up my credit cards, dear? I just ran your favorite sweater down the garbage disposal. <laughs> Molly, is that really what you want them back together for? It's better than nothing. Oh, no, no, it isn't. That's that terrible game called staying together for the kids. You try to convince them you're so happy together, and then everybody's miserable. Well, it wasn't that bad. And it would have gotten better if they'd loved me enough to keep trying to make it work. Molly, let me tell you something. I've had a father and two stepfathers, and all of them put together haven't given me as much love as your father's trying to give you right now. Hey, you know me. I, I don't envy anyone. But downstairs, when your father gave you that hug, well, I got, I got kind of close. <laughs> 